Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Flavor Brand the TV coming back to you guys. Yes, you guys with another video. Okay, I'm gonna try to do something extremely different on today's vlog. Okay, now I've been watching a lot of Netflix movies, TV shows, and things lately because y'all know I love me some Netflix, right? So it's this new movie called Clinical, and it's this other movie that's called uh, It Follows. Okay, now they're both thrillers. Now, according to Netflix, It Follows came out in like 2014. Now, I have never heard of the movie, but when I seen the movie, okay, I. I don't really know what to think about it. I just thought that it was kind of repetitive, okay? But I also seen this new movie that came out exactly this year called Clinical, which is probably, uh, it's so weird, but I cannot describe what I think about it, okay? It's so weird. But first, I just think that I should do just a two to two Netflix reaction on what I think about these movies that they're bringing because I think that Netflix has really really been snapping this year you know as far as bringing new mu uh, movies and stuff like that so guys I wanted to do something different I wanted to talk about It Follows and I wanted to talk about Clinical okay first I'm going to start off with Clinical or what I think about it Clinical is is really 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 creepy okay I don't really know if it's if really too much it does kind of fall in the horror category you know as far as movies as far as genres go it does kind of fall under that category but at the same time it's still just like a mystery and when I was looking at the movie okay the story follows a woman who's a psychiatrist and she likes to help patients with certain problems and she likes to give them medicine and stuff like that and when I was looking at the movie okay the beginning was just so creepy it, it takes place in Christmas time and um, I don't really know what location but uh, I just looked at it and I thought that the movie was just really, really, really creepy, okay? It had a creepy man on there with a very look, funny looking face. And it just had a lot of crazy stuff about this girl cutting herself a glass. And, ugh. Okay, so it follows this lady. She's, she's, she, she's can't get over a two-year event it's been two years since she's been getting over this event she was trying to help a patient she was cutting herself with glass and cutting her wrists with glass and you know leaking blood blood was just leaking from off the glass basically when she was cutting herself and she was the girl was like crazy as hell she was trying to run after the lady who was the patient I mean, I mean, who was the psychiatrist? She was trying to run after the lady and kill her as well. You know, I guess this girl got some crazy psychedelic past or uh, something like that. And she, she was a patient of the lady. I can never remember who the psychiatrist is, but the psychiatrist started going, started having panic attacks and going through psychologists, psych, psych. You know, a lot of psychosis herself throughout the movie. And, you know, one of the patients, uh, the, the one of the patients who she had was actually the father of the girl who was cutting herself with glass. You know, because when you see the beginning, you're going to be like, what the hell am I looking at? The girl was crazy. I mean, she was cutting her wrists, her neck, and blood was just leaking out of the, like, I mean, oh, it was just so horrifying. She ran after the lady. Man, it was just creepy. I just was looking at it. I just didn't know what to really think about it. But it is it is very it's a one it's an interesting watch. And uh it just talks about a lady who is a psychiatrist and she's also going through a psychosis herself, you know. Uh she she's seeing a shrink herself as she is, you know, um having her patients herself. She's helping out people, but she's also getting help herself because she's trying to recur from the event that she was it was on a Christmas and the event was just the the the, the, the lady the, the girl was you know troubled and you know I guess she had a troubled past. I don't know if the father was abuse sexually abusing her or something like that, but it, it was it was just creepy and the movie has an interesting dialect and when you look at it you might be impressed it follows baby when i tell you this is the most weirdest storyline i've ever heard of now i i just thought that the movie was very repetitive and i thought it was boring and i just thought it was just what the hell okay am i looking at i was ch i checked it out and uh it's just it's basically about uh a, a sexual pet a sexual ghost or something haunts people when they have sex with people now i just didn't know what to think about it i just didn't know what to think about this movie okay i looked at it i didn't really finish it to be honest with you because 
I, I I got bored with it and I looked at it. I just didn't know what the what, what the, the it's like it make people go crazy. It's like one person has to have sex with another person in order for this ghost to hunt the, the this ghost not to hunt them or something like that. It was just the most weirdest movie I've ever seen in my life. And I just didn't know what they thought when they put it on Netflix. But it's Netflix be having some interesting stuff. And like I said, I want to kind of take this YouTube channel to another level because I always talk about music. You guys know I'm gonna keep that up, but I also want to try to do other stuff as well, like do movie reactions. And I guess Netflix will probably be the best to start. Uh, I've also been into into, into, into like a lot of different shows like it's this other show called the magicians that I thought that was kind of like it's kind of like a grown up version of Harry Potter but it's it's grown up I think it's also on sci-fi I was checking it out I was looking at it it has really some interesting stuff that I was looking uh that that I've been really really finding out about it's another show called black mirror that i've been checking out kind of for a while it, it's, it's just about a lot of different things it's kind of random it's weird but uh it kind of gives me a little x files a little bit it's very futuristic it has a very futuristic flow to the show uh i hope that they continue it because i think they only got like three seasons or something like that but i i i just really really been loving all the stuff that i've been watching on netflix and i just decided to just do a a, a, a little key key this is a key key video so it's been a lot going on guys as you know recently i want to talk about a, a, a couple of tragedies that has happened i recently lost my entire entire wallet like i don't know what happened i don't know if i got off the bus and it fell out the back of my pocket because usually i carry my wallet in, a, in my back pocket and it must have fell out on the bus so now i have to get all my information y'all gonna kick my ass when i tell y'all about what is missing and what i have to get back social security card yes oh my god state id everything is gone okay i have to get all this stuff back so i'm getting some of the stuff back so you pass guys y'all know i'm in school my payroll card from work okay everything is gone and i've been just kind of a little bit emotional about that lately Oh, whatever, but I, 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 it is what it is, 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 but, okay, uh, that's been a most tragic thing that has happened to me, I had a emotional breakdown just this past week, it's, it's been kind of hard on me, but hopefully I'll get everything back this week, hopefully, so I, I'm just gonna keep it in God's hands, hopefully I can, if someone does find my wallet, hopefully they can send it to my address or whatever, Okay, these web series. I've been really, really feeling Triangle. Triangle is just amazing. Like, Caesar, Will, and Carlos, they are just... Oh my god, they are just amazing. Like, did, 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 like y'all know how I like my web series and stuff like that? Trade it all. I just found out it's back with a, a, a season two. They started with the first episode. I didn't see it, didn't see it yet. Y'all know I've been uh, hearing about Shade, uh, uh, Trade It All. Shade, no shade is coming back. I, I'm hoping that it comes back this year. Y'all know I've been loving me some No Shade. That is my show. I've been loving that show for like a couple of years now. I I I, I miss the old characters on that web series, but you know what? Hopefully uh, they still got my girl Danielle, and they still got um my other pe my other guy. Uh, I can never forgive me, but they still got my people on this show. Some of the people, but they got a lot of new people on No Shade. Uh, I, I'm waiting for that. I'm hoping that that's good. Let's see what else. It's just a lot, a lot I can talk about, uh, about the things that's been going on. Y'all know today is Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, guys. We want to, uh, this is just a, 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 just a silent for me. I'm a, a moment of silence for me just for a minute because Martin Luther King has done so much for this community, you know, for so much for us as our nation and you know just his civil rights and just everything and this is just a time to give him thanks and it, it, even though to me it seems like they keep changing his birthday i don't know why it's like they keep making it be the 15th or the 16th i, I you know it's like every year it seems like it, it falls on different days but i didn't have no school or work today just to let you guys know i'm just in here just bored so uh, let's see what else I can talk about. We know I'm hearing on the 20th. This is when I don't know when I'm gonna have the inauguration for red face, but or orange face or whatever you call Trump. Okay, but I'm not looking forward to the inauguration. No, 
I'm not. I'm not looking forward to welcoming Trump in office. No, we don't got time for that. He just don't get time for that. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about Trump. Okay, we don't care. I, at least I don't. Okay, but whatever. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a lot, it's a lot. I'm really trying to cut on my spending habits, okay? Let me just tell y'all something. I'm trying to cut on my spending habits because your boy need to be saving money, okay? I'm supposed to be graduating this year, so I'm looking forward to having a successful finish for this two-year degree that I'm getting, y'all. Yes, two years. I'm not sure if I'm going to do four years. Who knows? But I'm just excited about that. At least I will have a degree in something, even if I don't decide to do four years. It is what it is. Okay, I'm looking forward for Fifty Shades Darker. Now, let me tell y'all something. Before we get started with Fifty Shades of Grey, I, okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna put this out there. Now, I was gonna review Fifty Shades of Grey when it first came out, okay? But so many people was not feeling that movie, okay? A lot of people thought it was boring, okay? But me, I'm a different person, okay? I think that even even though it has a dark twist to it, it's very romantic. When I thought about first, I, I bought the movie, so I loved it. I I I, I thought that it was kind of romantic in a way, even though some people might think it's just porn. No, it's not. I think it it's just a beautiful romance about a woman trying to change a man and a man who don't want to get out of his ways. Okay, that's what the first story was about. But Fifty Shades Darker looks like it looks like Christian is more. It looks like he he's 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 trying to change his ways and he's trying to try, uh uh trying to you know seek love with Anastasia. Now I don't know how how she's going to I don't know how Anna's going to cope with you know um Christian's past because Christian has a another side and another little past uh, uh that's haunting him and another woman or something like that. And then uh Anna even has a girl a um. A, a guy or something that's supposed to be crazy about her on this one or something like that. So we'll just see. It looks like the second one might be a little bit more promising than the first one. Even though I'm going to give it a chance anyway. I might review it. Who knows if I go to the movies and see it. it, it so I'm... I'm I'm kind of excited. Uh, it looks like I'm going to love the soundtrack. I heard maybe like one of the songs from, what's her name, Halsey or something like that. And she did a song that I kind of like and I, I thought it was kind of dope. It looks like I'm going to love this soundtrack, okay? So I'm looking forward to Fifty Shades. I am. I, I am. I really, really am. Uh, I'm just trying to find some other things, some most important things to talk about. It's a lot of things that I can cover and talk about. But I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'll just about cover everything that I wanted to talk about. Uh, this is Forever Brandon TV. Hopefully, you guys will have a good day. Not sure how many views I will get on this, but I'm trying to practice to do more vlogging about different things and just talk about the same things, about what's on my mind, about what's catching my attention. Um, you guys know more music reviews are coming, so stay tuned for what Forever for whatever else Forever Burning TV has in store. Uh um yeah. Ooh, Tech Nine is coming back. Hopefully he comes back to Chicago. He has the strictly strange tour of 17, which is coming. Okay, I'm so looking forward to seeing Tech Nine again. Y'all know I seen him. I want to see him again. I gotta see my boy again. Last time I went to his concert last year in September, okay. Okay, I did not have a Tech Nine shirt, but now I do have a shirt. So I'm it is what it is. So I'm just looking forward to your boy is hungry, okay? You know what? It, 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 it's really not that much food in the house, and I can't wait to get all my stuff back, y'all, my payroll card and everything. But I am looking forward to a lot of things this year. It looks like this year is gonna be very promising. This semester is going pretty good as far as I know, okay. The classes don't seem like they're going to be too much of a biggie, okay? I know it's going to get kind of rough right maybe throughout the rest of these quarters because your boy is supposed to be graduating, so it's going to get kind of rough, but I'm looking forward. I can't wait till hours at work pull back because, you know, they give me your boy one day at work and ain't nobody got time for that because your boy ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to be just sitting on one day when I got other stuff that I need to get. But anyway... Uh, I will talk to you guys later. This is Forever Brennan TV. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and try to seek out some other different things. And give me, I want people to start giving me things to talk about. If you guys, 
end up following me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Give me uh, topics. I want topics. I want new topics to talk about, things to talk about. I'm trying to take this to another level. Let's get it, okay? So give your boy some stuff to talk about. Here we go. Deuces.